The new Bing powered by ChatGPT is really cool. It has some features that really bring the best of both worlds together. You get search, you get chatbot, so it's conversational AI, and putting them together makes this really interesting. And is it, I was skeptical at first, but this could really change search. I wasn't sure how that would happen. Let me let me let's do a demonstration. This is live. Who knows what will happen because it's unique every time you do it. Uh, and I haven't done this search before. Uh, let's say, who are the look, the best copywriters in the world today? This is going to be interesting because I have no idea what it's going to say. So it gives you, this is the normal uh, Bing page, right? If you to scroll up, though, it brings you to the chat bot. And we're now going to get a chat GPT style response. Uh, so this is interesting. Here's what's cool about it. It, it makes at least two searches. This, the search that I asked for, best copywriters in the world today, and then also best copywriting experts, because it thinks it's trying to understand what, I'm, what the intention of my question is. And here's the chat GPT style generative response. This is interesting. So, I mean, <laughs> it gives you some answers. Joe Coleman, Damian Farnworth. I don't, does he still write? I don't know. Brian Clark. I'm not sure if he's still writing either. <laughs> and then jo Joanna, which we, we know from Copy Hackers. Uh, so then it gives you some information. Here's what's cool about this. It, rather than, like in chat GPT, you get an output, but it doesn't tell you where you get it from. In search, you get web results. And this gives you both. So... If I wanted to learn more about Joel Coleman, you got links and it tells you where this information comes from. So that's really interesting. Each of those things is an option for you to get more information and it gives you places to go. More interesting to me though, is the follow-up prompts or queries. Like if in order to help you go deeper, it just suggests three things. It always suggests three things in my experience uh, that you could do to find more information. How can I learn from these copywriters? What are some of the best copywriting books? So any of these things could enhance your search experience and really bring you deeper into the topic uh, than even maybe you were attempting to, to uh, go in the beginning. Deeper than you, were, than you knew you wanted to go. Uh, let me do this one. I don't know what's going to happen when I click this. <laughs> but if it does another search, how can I learn from these copywriters? I'm going to specifically say what these are. I don't know what will happen. Let's find out. But it's searching... Searching. Okay, there are many ways you can learn from these copywriters to improve your own copywriting skills. So you go to useful copywriting blogs, read copywriting books. Look, now they're introducing new people. Everybody writes by Ann Handley, who's more of a content marketer than a copywriter. Bob Bly's book, Cialdini's book, which is also not a copywriting book, but all copywriters should read it. YouTube videos. Interesting. I don't know who Ashlyn Carter is. So I'm already learning something. <clears throat> Alex Catoni. Cool. Uh, get a mentor, write and evaluate your work. Now here, interesting. I don't see Jasper mentioned, but look, learn more at Jasper AI. Oh, so Jasper just has his content on his, on his page. Code list, location. So these are just sources from the, for this output. Let's see what else it, it suggests. I can say, thank you, this is helpful. Which copywriting courses do you recommend? How can I find a copywriting mentor? This is gonna be interesting. We're going to find out what it's going to do live. <laughs> what copywriting courses or which copywriting courses do you recommend? You're asking the AI for something that it recommends. Very interesting. Let's see what happens. It acts like it has a personality too. Sometimes you'll, you'll get it to come out. So there are many copywriting courses available online. Now the question becomes, right? How do I get AI to include my content, my copy, my website in its generative responses. That's yet to be discovered, at least by me. Somebody is probably cracking it now. But uh, something for us to think about and something for us to continue to work on. SEO has an entirely different, potentially an entirely different uh, meaning now. Now it's not just getting ranked well. I mean, ranking well, I think, probably influences how these uh outputs are if you rank well obviously it's going to be one of the quick answers that it can get back for the response like this and maybe that's part of how how it ranks 
I'm going to do some more research into that, how how these how the AI decides what to put in these uh, into the output based on what it's finding from the search. But OK, so complete copyright, of course, right to sell like a pro on Udemy by Taz, Tasman, Tasmin Henderson. OK, six figure, co six figure copyright by AWAI, very famous course, copywriting course by Neville Medora, of course, good one. A couple other ones, Conrad Sanders. And then OMCA, oh, from LinkedIn, okay. I just want to see what the next one is. What are the benefits of taking a course? How much does copywriting course cost? Thank you, this is very helpful. Okay, so any of these things is interesting. But it just gives you, see, I mean, I just wanted to show you. this. It gives you the best of search. It gives you some generative, watch this, let me see this. Uh, tell me more about who was up here on this list. Uh, Brian Clark. How about that? About Brian. Oops. Brian Clark. Hopefully, <laughs> it it stays in the context of this conversation. There you go. See, it's interesting because it. I didn't tell it that it says searching for Brian Clark, searching for Brian Clark Clark copy blogger. It intuited that based on. Uh, the conversation that we're having here. So that's cool. So it gives me some information. I'm going in a different direction with this. I wanted to give me some output. You could read this if you like. It just gives me some information on him. It gives me some sources of information from him. Interestingly, copy blogger is only the second reference point. <laughs> Even though copy blogger is his main thing. But I guess how it's structured, the output started in another way. I, they, it kind of wants me to stop. Thank you. This is helpful. What are some of the best articles by Brian Clark? This is what I wanted to get to. It also can take me into uh, specific stuff that I want to know and may not even have realized I wanted to know about Brian Clark. So I got some information on who he is. Now I can get some information on his work, specific work. Now, best here is subjective because it doesn't know what the best articles are. It can't know that. <laughs> but it, it's going to give me some of the maybe the best ranking or the, the one that had the most backlinks or something. Uh, this would be, but it gives me some information. And then guess what? It takes you right to these best articles. Very cool. It will expedite some of the things. If I really wanted to dive into the content of Brian Clark, this would be a great place to start. And again, I wouldn't have even thought to search that. I mean, I did because I've played with this before. But you may not have thought to search that until gave me the, the follow-up prompt or, or query, uh, what are some of the best things? Some of the best uh, articles. Okay, so anyway, I could dive into any of these things. The only thing I'll say is this. On a, I, a previous query that I was doing, uh, <laughs> I asked about, it was talking about the top 10 copywriters of all time, I, and it gave a list, and I wasn't on the list, which is strange. <laughs> but, uh, I, I followed up. Uh, well, why don't we do that? Watch this. Have I'm gonna and say, do you know the copywriter Donnie Bryant? Right. This is what I did before. I said, do you know the copywriter Donnie Bryant? And of course, it says, yeah, I know Donnie. It gives a little bit of information, showing me my own lack of ability to, <laughs> like, I not ability, but lack of proper oh lord this is a whole different direction than i was hoping to go dang it <laughs> uh, this is so weird okay anyway so searching for donnie bryant it did not pick up that i was asking about copyright of donnie bryant uh which i asked specifically and previously you know in the context of the conversation you would think it's it would stay true to this but anyway it does come up with Donnie Bryant as the top response, as it should. Um, then it comes up with some other guys who I used to have to fight for, uh, fight against to get on page one of uh, search pages. Anyway, y'all are killing me. Okay, tell me more about Donnie Bryant, the copywriter. Great. Which is what I asked in the first place. So now, interesting, like I said, it's happening live you see it just coming up with what it's coming up with 
Okay, this is interesting. It's making up stuff, though. This is <laughs> So this is what I wanted to um, caution you against. It's giving information. There's a lot of information. But it's wrong, though. It's absolutely wrong in some ways. Donnie Brown is copywriter and uh, specializes in the financial sector. True. And I have said that online. Helps clients connect with and convert their should-be clients. I've said that. It's taking it right from me. Cool. That's not a, not a problem. He's been writing copy since 07. True. Clients like Early to Rise. True. Gore Financial. True. Brian Tracy International. Not true. AWAI. Not true. I've never written for either of these people. And this is so interesting. It gives a source for it. But, but, I, but that information is not there. Because I haven't written for Brian Tracy. I haven't written for AWAI. I've done some collaborative stuff with AWAI. Written sales letters, landing pages, emails, webinar, video scripts, and various products for various products and services in financial nature. Okay, that's true. He's also a speaker and trainer on topics such as copywriting, marketing. He has spoken at events like AWAI's boot camp. False. Titans of direct response. False. This is so weird. I was trying to make a good video. Trying to make a positive <laughs> video. Uh, but it's we're finding out something interesting in real time. Titans of direct response and the copywriter club in real life. Those are all false. I have spoken at events. I haven't spoken at any of these events. He also hosts a YouTube channel where he shares insights and tips on copywriting and marketing. That's true. I raise a copywriting business and marketing consultancy out of Chicago, Illinois. That's basically true. I live in the suburbs, but I always say Chicago because nobody wouldn't know the difference if I told you what the name was of my suburb. He has a website where he showcases the portfolio. That's false. I have a website. There's no portfolio there. Testimonials, blog posts. He also has a LinkedIn profile where he connects with the professionals and potential clients. Fine. Nine-figure copywriter. True. Member of Professional Writers Alliance, false. And the American Writers and Art and Artists, Inc., false. <sighs> All right. I wonder if I should tell it. I'm not going to record telling it that this is false. <laughs> I don't know if it will, if that, how that will impact searches going forward. Okay. So, but anyway. Okay, this is interesting. Too. Let me just do, we. This is interesting, right? Thank you. This is helpful. I'm, it, it wants me to stop. I'm not going to stop. I could say, how can I hire Donnie Bryant for my copywriting project? This is super interesting. I wonder what it says. And I don't know if there's a way I can do both of these. What are some of the best blog posts by Donnie Bryant? Again, I can't know that. But it can give me some of them. I'd be curious to see what it says. I want to see what it says about this, though. How can I hire Donnie Bryant for my copywriting project? Way too interesting. Uh, but you see how, I mean, this is way different from search. If you just went to search, it wouldn't do any of this stuff. Hire Donnie Bryant copywriter. If you want to hire Donnie Bryant for your project, there are several ways you can contact him. Visit his website, fill out the contact form. Okay, cool. You can also sign up for his free newsletter, get a free report on how to write better headlines. That's false, though. <laughs> I do not have a freebie on how to write better headlines. Connect on LinkedIn. Okay, you can check out his profile. Fine. Follow him on Twitter. I am on Twitter. So interesting, but it doesn't give my Twitter. Uh, you could go to about me. I forgot about that. So interesting. Tweet him or send him a direct message. You can also see his latest tweets and updates. For some reason, doesn't have my Twitter uh, handle here. Fine. There's some ways you can hire Don and Brian. The truth of the matter is, it'd be much more difficult than that. But this is how you would start the start the process. What are some of the benefits of hiring Don and Brian? I'm interested in what this says. But see, watch. It just gave me two. Uh, two additional prompts rather than three so we're learning as we go there are many benefits you get attention grabbing headlines for your copy to draw readers in and make them want to read more you get personalized customized messages you get fresh original and interesting it's making this up though i don't know boost your seo i've never said that i specifically said i don't do seo <laughs> so i don't know what this is i don't know where it's coming up with this stuff Watch this. So this is really interesting. It's a, it's making an assumption. If you hire Donnie Bryant, you'll get the benefits that come with hiring a copywriter. Because watch this. You can't really see it. But one of the things that is linking to benefits is Michael Ellis' post on the benefits of hiring a direct response copywriter. I know Michael Ellis. It's not me, though. Uh, this is for me. Benefits of hiring a copywriter from Jessica Clifton. It's not me. So you get a professional, reliable service from a non-figure copywriter who has years of experience and expertise in the financial sector and other niches. That's fine. So it's mixing fact and, I mean, it's it's mixing uh, stuff that I've specifically said about myself and has been said about me with other things that are general uh, copywriter benefits. So you have to be careful on, on what you read here. It's not 100% reliable, at least not yet. 
What are some skills and mindsets that he teaches on his YouTube channel? This would be fascinating. Why am I still making this video? We're just exploring what's happening. Do I talk about mindset on YouTube? Sure. Do I talk about skills on YouTube? Definitely. This is really interesting. I have two YouTube channels. Is that true? Oh. I don't have two YouTube channels. And these are not different links. These are the same link. Donnie Bryant videos, Donnie Bryant, same thing. <sighs> okay, so there's insights and tips on how to write better headlines, how to use AI, tools for copywriting. That's not quite true yet. <laughs> I have been talking about AI, but not how to use the tools. Uh, no, I don't think so. How to write for different... That may not be true. Did I write? Uh, anyway, whatever. <laughs> how to write for different media platforms, how to craft, craft irresistible offers, how to use storytelling. Okay, that's mostly true. Shares advice and strategies on how to improve your copywriting skills, how to overcome common copywriting challenges, how to write for different niches, how to use psychology and persuasion to copy more. Fine. Mostly true. It says mindsets. That's not really covered here. Anyway, what are some of the best videos? I'm just curious. And then I'm going to stop this video because you've already been watching long enough. What does it say on Social Blade? That's interesting. I, I got to click that and find out what it says on there. What are some of the best videos? So, again, it's searching for multiple things. I'm curious what it says. Also, because YouTube is a Google property, you know, Bing search would be inferior to Google search. Ah, 10 critical copywriting tasks AI can't do yet. It's a popular video of late. How to write a sales letter that sells. I don't, is this mine? I don't know if this is even my letter or my video. This is my, I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> How to write for different media and platforms. I don't think this is mine. I don't think I made this video. Can I click that? I can't click it. This part isn't clickable. How do you storytelling copy? So some of this stuff is is mine. Some of them are not. Uh, kinks being worked out as we speak, I suppose. This is interesting because I don't think these are. I don't think this video is mine. It could be. I don't, this one is. I'll see. This one is. Got a, well, I don't know. Well, whatever. In any case, how can I subscribe to YouTube? This is anyway. That's enough for today. But you see how this is really cool. Also, one other thing. This thing also cool. So can you write a persuasive headline based on now? I don't know how the heck it will do this on Donnie Bryant copywriting principles. I don't know what it thinks my copywriting principles are. And I don't even know what that means, but I just want to see what it will do. How about this? Based on the, the how about this? Based on the copywriting principles from Donnie's video. Can I copy this and just paste it in? Just see, but here the point here is that it's giving it can give generative responses like Chat GPT. When you ask Chat GPT, write me something. I should have said, give me three headlines. Nice. Okay, so it says how to double your sales in thirty days or less. The secret formula that works for any business. This is a little bit generic for a Donnie Bryant principle. <laughs> Great. Can I have a write five more similar headlines? Oh, look at this though. Is persuasiveness a word? Look at this. If I did this, it'd say that's a great headline. That's kind of a way of ending the conversation. Can you write another headline to get another one? Can you explain why this headline is persuasive? You know what I want to do? I want to do that. And then we're going to end this video for real. Can you explain why this is persuasive? I'm really curious to see what it says. I don't know how anyone's supposed to get any work done. You're just going to be playing with AI all day. Capture's attention by using bold, specific claim that appeals to the region. This is not necessarily based on me, but based on what the AI 
believes that it knows about persuasion and about headline. Uh, okay, interesting. But it says it uses numbers and words that stand out, such as double and secret. Very good. Headline arises curiosity using a teaser that implies there's a hidden or unknown formula. Okay, promises a benefit. This is pretty interesting. Okay, now let me do this. And then I'm going to get up out of here. I should have said five more headlines that are even more persuasive. I'm editing my own copy as we go. But the ultimate guide to doubling your sales in 30 days or less. How to use this proven formula that works for any business. How I doubled my sales in 30 days or less. These are similar. I guess that's what I get for putting the word similar in there. Because they're all basically the same. Cool. So anyway. Well, I could say this is helpful. I could just put what it wants you to say. These are awesome headlines. I want to see what it says. And then that's it. For real, for real, for real. This is probably the end of the conversation. Glad you like them. And you get an emoji. Very cool. So anyway, bing, when you get a chance, you may have to still be on a, a wait list. I was only on the wait list for three days, three or four days. Uh, sign up for it. Get access to this. It's really cool. And uh, I'd love to hear how you're using it, what you're finding. And uh, we'll talk in the next video.